Okay, first I'm going to test the power source. Right here I've got um, four AAA 1.2 volt 1000 milliamp hour batteries. So see, it's just a standard Christmas tree bulb incandescent, good for testing these kind of things. Yeah, definitely we have voltage. Multimeter right here, just to check the voltage and make sure that the battery pack's outputting at the proper voltage. Alright, you can see that right there, it's outputting um, 5.36 volts, so actually that's um, quite a bit more than it's supposed to be putting out, um, which is 4.8 but uh, for all intents and purposes that's not going to cause any problems okay so here's my mini um, PV panel I had absolutely no idea the kind of output that this thing is capable of but for all intents and purposes it doesn't really matter because they're very low output and it's just going to basically be a trickle charger Now it's very easy to co-opt one of these. All you have to do is get a um, USB cable with the appropriate connector on it that you're going to be using or even any standard mobile phone kind of um, cheap little cable that would normally connect to your power um, input. And you just cut it, cut the cable. Usually you want to leave some uh, length so that you have a little bit to work with and strip the wire down look for the red and the black wire because those are your positive and negative power leads so that's just what I did here to get this cable and after you've got everything soldered up nice you can just use some electrical tape and make it look all nice alright now that the soldering is done let me just kind of highlight and point out the exactly how the circuit's constructed alright this right here this 9 volt clip is going to go to the battery pack so you can see the way they're linked in the solar the solar panel right here will send electricity down here through the diode and down this channel into the battery pack so that will be trickle charging the battery pack at all times while the battery pack will not be able to send electricity back into the solar panel because of the diode which prevents that but the battery pack will be able to send current through this loop right here which comes out to the USB cable so that's basically the essence of the circuit you can see how these are connected in parallel or uh, yeah in parallel basically okay the battery pack has been connected um, with the 9 volt jacks so in theory this is fully operational I'm going to test out the circuit with my multimeter just to make sure that everything's operational okay so first I've connected in on the outside of the diode in direct contact with the battery pack and as you can see the 5.3 volts is um, coming through nice and strong so that's a good sign of course that was kind of foolproof now I've patched in to the other side of the diode where it basically is coming into contact with the solar panel and as you can see I'm getting a 0 0.108 104 volt, uh, volts from the solar panel and actually it's kinda cool you cover it up and it drops down to basically nothing uncover it goes up again so you can see that the solar panel is operational and the diode is placed correctly so we don't have to worry about any voltage feeding back into the PV panel alright I've optimized the circuit I've taken out all the unnecessary um, wiring and extensions this is kind of the final draft I've electrical taped over everything so that 
it's nice and smooth and you don't have to worry about any uh, contact malfunctions or short circuits and here's the diode right there put the tape around it see so it's exposed kind of a cool look and now for the final test I'm gonna plug it into my phone and if everything works right it will begin charging success <laughs> So, now unlike the normal cell phone, mobile phone, battery charger, um, instead of having to recharge these rechargeable batteries here, uh, after your charge is expended, all you have to do is leave the uh, solar panel out in the sun. Personally, I'm going to put this um, on the dashboard of my car and just let it charge up between uses. Thanks for watching.